This is the Iowa Weather Report for Sunday, December 1st, 2013. Now our first look at the Zero Z GFS model run. This is at noon today. We have pretty much a zonal flow across most of the country. A big storm system moving down the west coast of Canada, and that's going to affect our weather later into the week. But around here uh, today, we'll have mainly partly to mostly sunny skies. It'll be a little bit cooler today. No 50s around. It'll be highs in the mid-30s north to mid-40s south with, like I said, partly to mostly sunny skies. <clears throat> but on Monday, we have a warm front moving in with that system we showed you coming out of the Pacific Northwest into the Northern Rockies with some rain and mountain snow there. We could see a little bit of activity across the northern counties here on Monday. And then again here on Tuesday as the low pressure center will be over southwestern Minnesota with a cold front dragging down into Oklahoma and Texas. But most of the precipitation with that will be along and north of about U.S. Highway 18. And then that system moves off to the north and east on Wednesday taking all the precipitation with it. So the chances of any precipitation with this system are fairly remote if you're south of about Highway 20. That system over the Four Corners region will then dive down into the southern plains here on Thursday. And that could scrape the state Thursday into early on, maybe Friday, with a little bit of light snow or flurries. But then the main factor is going to be the very cold air that's going to follow in the wake. Highs will struggle Friday and again on Saturday with highs mainly in the teens, maybe barely even getting to 10, and lows at or below zero. And that's going to be the case here on Saturday as well with mainly sunny skies. Now, with there being a lack of any snowpack while some of the, or most of the snow has melted over the last day or so, we'll have to see if those temperatures continue. When we look ahead next Sunday, you can see a trough axis off to our west as a new trough tries to dig in across the plains and northern Rockies with a system moving through Saskatchewan, and that could produce a little bit of snow there, but that may just reinforce the cold air around here at the end of next weekend and maybe into the following week as well. When we go into the extended period on December the 12th, it looks pretty zonal again, mainly a flow out of the west and northwest, some energy over New England and the eastern Great Lakes, also across the desert south and west. And with that, it looks pretty benign, highs likely in the 20s, snow across the Great Lakes and across New England, some rain across the south and some rain and mountain snow in the Pacific north and west. And then when we get to the end of the forecast on December the 16th, pretty much the same pattern. Pretty much zonal, a few ripples here and there. Some energy north of the Great Lakes. Another piece of energy diving in and out of Alaska toward the Pacific Northwest once again. And that could bring a fairly heavy system into the Pacific Northwest at that time with some rain and mountain snow there. Some rain and maybe some snow in the Great Lakes. And temperatures pretty much hmm, where they should be. 20s to low 30s for highs if this is right. Satellite image from last evening showed some uh, clouds across the northern tier of the country from northern New England through the Great Lakes into the plains and then back into the Pacific Northwest with the system moving in and also across the south. The watch morning map from last evening, we had some winter weather issues across the Rockies from pretty much Wyoming northwestward through Idaho, Montana, and northeastern and eastern Washington. Some flood issues there as well. And elsewhere, it's fairly quiet. QPF chart, precipitation over the next five days through Thursday evening at 6 o'clock, showing the precipitation is going to be confined mainly across the north and west, the northern tier, with just a little bit of precipitation around our neck of the woods.